Hi booktube, Lynette here and in today's video I'm going to do an unboxing of the November box of Bookbox Club. Bookbox Club is a monthly subscription service. They provide a YA young adult book um, along with some bookish goodies. They have a couple of different subscription options that you can choose. You can either choose the full box like I've got here or you can choose to just have the book and not the goodies as well. Um, like I say, it is a monthly service. It's $31.99 a month. Um, and for that, you get the entire box. So let's go right ahead and see what's inside. So this month, the theme was Secret Societies. I'm just going to cover up the book. Um, and it's got a bit of a spooky feel for it because it's obviously in November. We're in the late stages of autumn. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing what's in there. As always, the first thing you get in the box is the envelope with your name on that gives you the invitation to the book club meeting, which will be held. I think this one will be held in January, towards the end of January. So the first item comes bubble wrapped, which means it's um, possibly breakable. And it looks like it's actually a coaster, um, which I can never have too many of because I drink far too much coffee for my own good. So I'll just hold that up to the camera for you. And I believe this is actually based on the Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. Um, it's a ceramic um, coaster with a cork backing. Um, I love coasters. Like I say, I drink a lot of tea and coffee. I drink a lot of hot drinks. So I do keep coasters all around. And actually, um, I've, now I'm back at work, I forgot to take my coaster back to work uh, when I went back. So I'm thinking I might take that one with me instead. And once again, we're being spoiled with foodie treats and they have this gorgeous, um, and I say gorgeous because I absolutely adore chocolate, uh, but it's a Belgian chocolate key. Um, not quite sure what this um, theme relates to, but I will find out when I read through the spoiler card. Um, I don't want to read the spoiler card yet because it will tell me what the book is. Um, but yeah, that's going to be hard to resist eating. And the next item out of the box is so that you can um, decorate your clothes if you wish to. And it's this lovely little patch uh, which says Hampton College Classics Department. So I'm guessing it probably relates to some kind of um, book uh, about a library, maybe. Um, so, yes, you can. It's um, it's one that you can either uh, iron on or if you'd prefer to uh, not make it so permanent, you could sew on. Um, I'm not really into decorating my clothes in that way, but um, it might look, I might find something to do with that instead. I might pin it somewhere instead and see what I can do with that. And the next thing out of this box is this lovely little leather bound notebook. Um, it's a fully lined notebook, um, which I prefer. I'm, I'm not very neat at writing in straight lines, so fully lined would be good for me. Um, I do have quite a few notebooks that I use. I use when I'm talking about videos, when I'm thinking about books I want to read. Um, so, yes, this will be another nice little notebook. And it's a nice handy little size. It would actually fit quite nicely in uh, a handbag. Um, and you could take it anywhere with you and just make notes as you go. It's If I hold up to camera, it's got um, a symbol that Book Box Club use quite often, which is unashamedly bookish. It's also got little ribbon so that you can mark your place in the notebook and it also has the obligatory elastic so that you can hold it closed. So I'm really looking forward to um, popping that one in my bag and using it when I'm out and about. And then the last thing in the box is this gorgeous book pouch. Uh, it's a canvas book pouch so it's not going to um, protect your book from getting wet at any point but it is um, lovely and thin. It would actually fit quite a lot of um, different size books in there. Maybe not your larger um, hardbacks, but I certainly think I could get a thousand page fantasy read in there. Um, so I'm really looking forward to adding that one to my shelf and using that one in future. It's actually done up with a popper at the back um, instead of being open at the top. So that's quite nice because that's one thing I don't like in my bag is when the um, the bookcase, the, the, the book sleeve is actually open at the top. So I'm looking forward to using that one as well. 
So that's everything that's in this month's box, um, all the nice little goodies that you've got this month. The last thing to open is the book itself. And this feels like it's a hardback book this month. Like I say, it should fit with the theme of Secret Society. So let's um, rip open the paper and see what it is. I did actually do a search for this book um, beforehand to see if I could figure out what it was from the clues, but uh, as usual, no idea. There we go. Ah, I did read about this one. So this is The Magpie Society by Amy McCulloch. Um, I did actually come across this one when I was trying to find out which book it might be. So um, I didn't read very much about it, but um, it certainly does fit. And I do love this black and purple cover, black, white and purple cover. I think that's gorgeous. Uh, I'll just read what it says to you on the back. The screaming was coming from the sea. A figure was standing by the water. The sun had disappeared from the horizon, but there was enough ambient light to see by. A body lay on the sand, waves lapping at the soles of her feet. She was on her front, but her head was tilted to one side, her lips tinged an unnatural blue. Pale skin, blue lips, tangled strands of hair, twisted limbs, and on her back, an elaborate tattoo of a magpie. So that actually sounds really intriguing. On the front, it says, at the heart of this school lies a deadly secret. So... Yeah, I think it's another one that I'm going to want to read quite quickly um, and probably won't get to this side of Christmas. Uh, but yes, it certainly sounds intriguing. It's got beautiful, beautiful um, purple end papers. And just look at that front cover of that hardback, that gorgeous purple foiling of that feather um, and the, the writing on the spine. I think that's actually going to be one that I enjoy taking the cover off to read it at some point in the future. Um, as usual, you also receive a signed book plate and I've just actually realised that this book is co-written by Zoe Sugg, who's quite a famous um, influencer. Uh, started out on YouTube and yeah, so she's obviously progressed into writing as well. So looking forward to picking that one up in the future. So I'll just go back over the items that were in the box and tell you who they were by. So the first item was the coaster and I was correct. This is a, um, based on the Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. And the design is by Pin and Ink. And I will leave uh, their website below for you as well so that you can have a look and see if you want to check out more of their work. And the next item was the chocolate key and I'm even more looking forward to reading this now. Uh, it's chocolate orange. I love orange flavoured chocolate. Uh, yes, this is um, not based around a particular theme, um, but it does say that to enter the clubhouse, you need a key. Um, so I'll look forward to eating that very, very soon. But yes, it will be a lovely treat to eat while I'm reading. And the next item was the patch and this has been designed by the Goddess Revolution who has a shop over on Etsy and again I'll leave the link down below for you. Um, this is based on a secret history society. Um, I'm not too sure what the book is. Um, I've never heard of it before so I am intrigued um, to look into that one and uh, if I find out which book it is I'll leave that link down below as well. And then the next item was this gorgeous little notebook. And again, this is just based around the unashamedly bookish symbol that Book Box Club uses all the time. Um, and they haven't actually credited anyone with this. So I think it's just something that they've had made up specifically for their book boxes. And the final item was the pouch. And this pouch has been designed based around the Magpie Society book that we've had this month. Um, and I think actually the book would probably fit quite nicely inside it. There we go. Uh, so that would be a nice one to pair up together uh, when I take the book out to read it. So that was all the items in November's Book Box Club, the Secret Societies theme. I'll leave a link to their website down below so you can check them out if this is something that you're interested in getting for yourself. They also have a shop where they've got excess of items that they've had made up for their boxes. It won't have the most recent items in there because they don't want to spoil it for uh, people who haven't yet opened their boxes. But certainly from September back, they'll have some items in their shop. So I recommend you go and check them out. 
if you've enjoyed this video please give me a like and a subscribe and i will speak to you all again soon in another video bye